Good morning, everyone. I hope you have an uh, enjoyable time today. Today, I'll be talking about the phenomenon, what is called as digital economics. But digital economics, anyone? I mean, everyone has already enjoyed the whole impact of digitalization, right? You can transport from one place to another easily. You can enjoy distance education without any hassle. You can enjoy your delicious foods whenever your mom cannot cook for you, right? So what else can we discuss about the phenomenon of digitalization? Is there anything we can explore more or actually nothing left on the plate of discussion? So today I will bring this phenomenon called as Indonesia's digital economy from a bit different angle for us to see a more comprehensive view on what's actually going on. So, my story is started five years ago from this beautiful city called as Barcelona. And easily from the picture shown in the slide, you can point out a mesmerizing La Sagrada Familia as one of the most beautiful churches in Europe. But I'm not talking about history today. I got an invitation from GSM Association last couple of days before an event called as Mobile World Congress. At that time, just last week, during the last week of February, I didn't have any expectation what's the event all about. I didn't have anything in my mind. I mean, I know this is invitation. I've been traveling uh, in many places when I was still working with United Nations and European Commission. I don't see any particular interest, in fact, to attend and to explore because I think it will be just the same. It's just the same conferences. I often attended and give speech and stuff. But it's a bit different when I landed at the airport and instead of check-in counter when you can get boarding pass, at the airport there are already hundreds of people queuing to get the entrance ticket to the event. It means that the event must be so huge, which I didn't anticipate what it was about. And then from that point in time, I realized it must be something. It's beyond what I already knew about conferences, about workshop, about exhibition. It must be something beyond that. So the first day, people are flooding. Yeah, people are floating in the in the event, yeah, and then I started to realize, wow, hundred thousand people more attending one exhibition center to another, and there are a lot of companies coming, largest companies in the world like Huawei, ZTE, Ericsson, they are already there, showing or showcasing the most advanced invention in technology that probably will be used in other developing countries five years from now, 10 years from now, or even 20 years from now. You name it, quantum computing, AI, virtual reality, and all other inventions that finally will be part of leapfrogging process for other adopting countries like Indonesia. And then I was there. I enjoyed the place, enjoyed the invitations, and I was part of government of Indonesia delegation informally because I accompany two higher senior government officer from Indonesia to come and visit every corner of places, every corner of exhibition hall. Right, nothing surprising, right? It's just normal exhibition at this point in time. No surprise at all yet. But then we come to the first surprise, a story about a map. You know, when I was attending one of the largest exhibition hall at the event, when I'm saying largest, it means a couple of hundred people can come in at the same time. In fact, it was the largest among other big tech companies showcasing their product at the event. And I was surprised, why did I see Indonesian map in the entrance 
of the whole. Why Indonesian map? Of course, as Indonesian, and by that time I've been away for seven years with my family, with kids, with wife, away from Indonesia, just looking Indonesian map, it, you know, it feels like so mesmerizing. Yeah, it's so spirited. I realized, well, Indonesia is really famous because we can see our map there. And the map is seen by everybody who will be, try, who will be entering to the exhibition hall. There are a couple of hundred at the same time. So sorry about Indonesian map. Interesting. Um, the second day, yeah, I yet again come to the event yeah, with the official from Indonesia. And while my idea was visiting other exhibition hall, I come across to that company hall, which is again one of the largest tech companies in, in the globe. And again, it's Indonesian map there, which is two consecutive days, right? First day, second day. I was expecting probably, or just probably, during last day, there'll be something else. Because there are more than 180 countries in the world. There are a lot of you know, manufacturing companies in the world. There are a lot of digital companies in the world, not only Indonesia. Right. At night, I was thinking, because tomorrow will be the last day, actually, I want to enjoy Barcelona, rather than to come back to the exhibition hall, I was thinking, should I come back tomorrow morning? Because actually, I already visited all the exhibition halls without any lab. I already visited all. I know what they are um, inventing, what they are showing. But as a researcher, I was thinking, right, I have to come back tomorrow without informing my friend from the government. So the first morning, I took train from my hotel to, to, to exhibition hall, and again, Thousands of people coming. The last day is usually more, you know, less serious, more flexible, a lot of chat, a lot of discussion. Even for some exhibition, they start to reduce a bit the volume and the activities because it is last day and time to enjoy other part of Barcelona city. But yet again, the map is still there. The big largest map is still shown in the big screen of the entrance of these largest tech companies in the world. So I thought to myself, no, I have to ask them what it is all about. Why are they showing Indonesian map three days in a row? In fact, the whole duration of the exhibition. So I met with the lady there, and I asked politely, excuse me, I just wonder, why do you show it on the sun map three days in a row? Because I think as a Chinese company, I think you have more investment in Vietnam now than in Indonesia. And probably you can even show your own map, like showing how Beijing is developing or you know, Shanghai is developing as the center of economic uh, pool in Asia or even in the world. And then the lady asked me to come in to their big room which is all about machinery and all computing and computer um, uh, tools. And then taught me politely, do you know that in every single setup box or STB that you are using that allows you to watch the TV, then I know exactly what you are doing. I know exactly what television channel you are watching. I know exactly the duration of time you spend on television. I know exactly what movies are you watching. And then he shows me a complicated machine learning that shows this map yeah, in their system. He shows me this is the nature of Samarang market this is the nature of Surabaya market. This is the nature of Bandung market. So everything is in their box, not in our box. Not in our machine, but in their box or boxes. So the question is, why is it happening? Come back to Jakarta. I have brother working in telecommunication. I have several friends working in telecommunication. I asked them, do you know that? 
that actually everything in our STB yeah, is recorded in that manufacturing. Oh yeah, I don't realize that. And starting from that, I start to questioning that actually digital economy has much more dimension that we actually already knew about it. So usually when talking about digitalization, we forget that digitalization is all about the use of technology by both the producers and consumers. Consumers are enjoying much sophisticated technology to help them to facilitate better production process, better technology connected, so that they can produce things quickly, in better way, in huge volume compared to before. And then, sometimes we are just happy to what's already going on. Yeah? The fact that we are the largest market, e-commerce market in the world. Sometimes we forgot that behind this all digitalization, there are many more that we can try to digest. We can digest about the whole ecosystem in digitalization, by which in many parts has been monopolized, yeah, has been occupied by much larger firms. We are in the different angle of digitalization because in many ways, we are a strong market without the ability to produce our good, our own manufacturing goods, our own digital goods. And this is something I really wanted to convey that the problem has been quite structural. Yeah. The gap between region, the urban and the rural area are not enjoying the same level of digitalization as we are here as you are here in this beautiful school. Yeah. And this will lead to different impact, different meaning, different atmosphere, different nuance of digitalization comparing those in big cities and those in rural cities, in rural areas. So that if we compare how many firms are actually using digital product in Indonesia compared to other countries, then you can see the structural problem in digitalization is going beyond what is currently showcasing in newspapers, in media, that we are the largest digital market in the world. So what are the challenges? There are a lot of challenges. How to ensure everybody being connected? How about the issue of security and, pri and, and, uh, and privacy? How to ensure that peer-to-peer -peer lending is really giving equal field of level of playing field so that everybody can enjoy the same benefits of digitalization without exploiting one level of community against another level of community. How can those Gojek drivers enjoy the same welfare as those people working at the office? So that is all to do that can leverage us, that can lead us to the better, more equitable digitalization that will give the whole welfare to the society. I will stop here with showing you this map that's yes, showing different achievements all, all regions. Not all people enjoying digitalization as much as we are because affordability is an issue. So that's your job, that's your duty in the next future to look up, to, to, find, to, to try to find solutions for better digitalization uh, development in Indonesia. I stop here. Thank you very much.